Kaya959. Thank you for choosing us as your entertainment portal of choice. Starting her day on 959 this morning is Londie London. Londie London. Londie we. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Lalelo kama la se IT. Abo na la se ha. Ikama la se home affairs. Londi is pure wisdom. What a beautiful name, though. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful name. So you're very talented, and you're you're hailing all the way from KZN, um, known to us as Londi London. Uh, you made the ambitious move to move to Joburg, where your musical talent properly took off. Was this always part of your plan, Londi? Yes, it's always been part of my plan because I used to always enter competitions. I even did UJ Idols. I was running up when I, no one knows about this, but um, <laughs> yeah, so I've been hustling to be in the music industry. That was the main goal. So yeah. 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 Are you still with Ambitious Records? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Okay. Um, you think that you want to talk about why you're no longer signed to them? No? Uh, no, it was a personal decision and also mm-hmm. with the growth and me rebranding. So I figured it was the perfect time to be independent. Was it, one of those, was it one of those where the contract ended or it was like just cut abrupt? Like, go their own way? No, also it was uh, during the COVID time. Ah, you know, okay. not much was mm. happening in the entertainment industry. So I was also looking at other things, you know getting into business, mm. doing this, doing that. Because, yeah, and I was pregnant. And you were pregnant. You're a mom. Yes, Yay. you are a mommy. You. You're a mom. So we hang out with kids around this time of the show, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we take calls from kids, one child per morning. And uh, they choose one of us in studio. Could either be yourself, Saul, or me. And uh, the chosen one gets to be asked a very tough question by these kids. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. I Do love the kids. Do you think you can handle it? Yeah, we love the kids, isn't yes. it? Yeah, the kids are dope. Uh, we're hanging out with Londi London, starting her day on 959, just as you are. I think many people thought um, they'd see the musical side to uh, Londi London on The Real Housewives, Londi, right? Um, something we had all fallen in love with. Of course, um, we, we knew you through the music. Is uh, music still a thing for you? Yeah, it is. I'm currently working on new music with uh, some top producers here in South Africa. Uh, yeah, so because there's pressure now because I took quite mm. a long break. So if I come back, I need to come back with a bang. Genre? Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, the Yanos have to be there. Cheers, I but yeah. yeah, but personally, I'm doing like Afro soul, Afro pop because that's where Good. I am because I'm like a swing jazz singer. Wow. Good, good, fantastic. And, and then the, the name London, like, yeah. how did you come, like, you know, get to Londi London from Londi to uh, London Zulu? Yeah, it's, it's a nickname I got in high school um, when I moved to Woodbank. So the guys used to be like, "Oh, there's a new girl in town, Ikamalaku Londi, but she looks like she's from London." <laughs> ah, I know that's right. Isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> It's 20. This, this is <laughs> 959 Breakfast. 959 Breakfast. Kaya Traffic. Kaya Traffic. 22 minutes after 7, Londi London starting her day on 959. Londi, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I remember you opening a store in Hyde Park. It was a fashion line, I think. Yes. Um, yeah, is entrepreneurship still something you aspire uh, for, especially as a parent? Uh, is it for the legacy and the future of your child, I presume? Yes. Um, it was Fly Clothing Store. It is still available online. Um, I am still on the entrepreneur side of things, hence I'm doing a festival in Woodbank so I've gotten into event organizing now so I'm doing a huge festival in Woodbank this Saturday um, it's called the Ridge Dome that's the venue uh, that's why I'm doing it it starts from like during the day during the day it's like market vibes with stalls to encourage like local businesses and then later on it's a concert inside the dome so yeah I brought in my favorite artists together Abus Java KO Black Diamond Amaroto so it's quite massive for Woodbank and Woodbank's not far are you guys not coming Dineo I've been trying to book you I mean you've been trying to book me girl who are you talking to mm, 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 <laughs> so, so mm. Mizi's coming as well so yeah so yeah 
It's going to be massive. Saul's looking at me like, what? I'm looking like, hey, where's my invite? You know, that's, that's why I'm looking at you like this. But <laughs> yeah, Linda, Puma is born. Gang, 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 you know, I think like people who do reality shows are really brave because I mean, people say sometimes the meanest things. You find yourself trending on Twitter. They feel like they know you. Mm. Where does London London go? You know, when it all gets too heavy, when Twitter is doing its thing, and you know, you you just feel the pressure. Where do you go to find your peace and your harmony? Um, you know, I used to have the most hectic mornings. Um, Khadi knows I used to call her every morning at five when the show mm-hmm. is about to air. And I literally used to delete all my apps, like Twitter, all of that, and just focus on my kids and carry on with my day like nothing is happening mm-hmm. after watching the show because it was that hectic. It was almost as if people were watching another show and they weren't watching the show that I'm watching uh, because of mm-hmm. what they were tweeting and all of that. But, you know, um, to find my peace, I just focused on my kids and my just my daily routine. You have an opportunity now to, you know, because you say you feel like people are watching a different show. Is everything as it looks and is everything real? Maybe are there things that get omitted uh, uh, in the final edit? Is everything what we see actually what really happens and is it as it seems? I mean, the show is real. Um, obviously, with edits here and there, you know, some things might be, you know, put together and whatnot. But the show is 100% real. Um, I'm not sure with um, me saying that people were watching a different show. But, I mean, it's their views and opinions and I can't change also, that. Also, remember, reality is relative, right? So yeah. we might all be having this conversation right now. But the minute we leave the studio, how we tell the people that we're, we're narrating our experience to might be three different experiences altogether. Mm. So yes. your experience in shooting the show, the experience of the viewer in watching it and how it's edited, sometimes it does feel like two different shows. Mm. It feels like you're in a show and you, you're like, okay, but am I losing my mind? Because that's the perspective. But then when you look at another person's perspective, how they view the reality unfold, it's like, are we even watching the same thing? Is, yeah. this, is this legit for real? Exactly but I always say is. reality is relative. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I get you completely. Mm-hmm. What's your status now? Is Lundi, we're still married. Are you finding your way out of marriage? Uh, what's happening in that space? Um, I'm finding my way out of marriage. I, I'd rather mm-hmm. say it that way. I'm, Still processing I'm, the divorce. Yeah, I'm, I'm not married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm currently not married. Are you separated from your husband and just yes. going through the legal aspects of making it final that yeah. we are no longer together? Yeah. And how's this affecting you mentally, emotionally? Are you okay? Um, I mean, um, I went through the most, you know, um, mm-hmm. during like April, like... It's it's been a while. It's been a yeah. while because mm-hmm. I didn't go public with it. Um, it was quite a private matter, a family matter. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I went through quite a bit, and especially with the tweets all going on because people weren't quite sure what was really happening. So, yeah. but I'm at a good place now. Beautiful. I think I'm that's glad. what matters. Yeah. A- any I'm glad. any regrets like with because it seemed from the outside that you paused your musical career and stuff you know Mm. Uh, um, as you were getting married and maybe possibly focusing on family any regrets with that would you do it again let's say you had another child and you were in a serious relationship Um, you know what I don't have any regrets um, because I believe in perfect timing Mm. Um, everything happens in Skatsa Korn so um, yeah, now I do have my second child and I'm not willing to take that break again <laughs> because now yeah. it's my time to shine. So mm. regrets, no, but I believe in perfect timing and you see now I can focus on my music and whatnot because a lot of things have been, you know. On hold. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 100%. Well, we're, we're glad to have you back. We're glad that you are back fully at it. It seems, it sounds like you are. You've got plans for, you know, thriving and uh, rising in the musical space. Um, all the best with that. And thank you very much for starting your day on 959. Thank you guys for having me. You're most welcome.